Tony Greenham, the Head of Finance and Business at the New Economics Foundation. And I'm a Chartered Accountant and former Investment Banker. If I asked you the question, where does money come from, would you be able to answer it? And what's surprising is how many bankers, politicians, economists even, don't know the answer to that question. The answer, of course, is that banks create money. Commercial banks create money when they make loans. So the bank deposits that we all use now in the economy to make payments is created by banks. Now, why is that interesting? Why is that important? Firstly, new money can only be created when new debt is put into the economy. That debt has to earn interest. And this creates a dynamic that requires the economy to keep growing in order to stay stable. Incomes have to keep going up in order to keep repaying the debt and the interest. And when you get into a recession, the system is very unstable because the debts can't be repaid. And then the amount of money in the economy shrinks. Banks don't lend anymore. Um, we have less money in the economy. So we have an unstable system because of the way that money is created at the moment. The second problem is that because the interests of individual commercial banks determine who gets this new money, who gets the new credit, uh, they allocate it to parts of the economy that suit them, that they think will earn the highest short-term return. But actually that means that they favour lending for financial speculation to investment companies and hedge funds or property speculators, uh, or they like lending against property or for consumption. What we need is credit to be for investment particularly into long-term, ecologically sustainable infrastructure. And the banking system just isn't set up to do that. So by background, I'm a financial professional, right? So I'm a, a trained accountant, I've been a banker. Now, all the time I was doing that, I uh, never actually, I now realise, I didn't know where money comes from. And so I'm always conscious that when you tell people for the first time, that banks create money, they find it very hard to believe that such a strange and absurd system could possibly be true. So I can understand why it seems that there's very little change that happens. Uh, and although that can get a little bit frustrating, because people would agree with you, they'll say, yes, I agree, Tony, the system isn't working very well and the financial crisis shows that, but what can we really do about it? It all seems too big a problem to change, like climate change. It's too big. Let's just ignore it, you know? This is the sort of uh, feeling that you get. Um, I, and the answer is you just have to keep talking about it and keep making the arguments. And most importantly, and this is why community currencies are brilliant, to demonstrate on the ground, in real life, a different way of organising the economy that is sustainable and that does respect social justice. And if you can do that at a small scale and prove that it works, then you can help maybe win the arguments on the big stage. <laughs>